Hello Shopify store owners, I hope everything is great with you. Welcome to this week's video, we'll see how to back up your store, products and uh, files. Let's first take a look at what we can't back up, uh, which means um, your collections. Um, if you have multiple collections, you can back up the collections. Um, you, you, you can copy them somewhere and then transfer it in the case that you want maybe to, to transfer or create a new store and you want to switch over some things, uh, you won't be able to do that with the collections. With collections, you'll have to add them manually. We'll be able to, uh, to transfer the products. We'll be able to copy and back up your products. So simply click on export. It will auto select all products make sure it's a CSV for Excel. That's what I normally select, or you can go just plain CSV file. Um, you will export that and it will send it to your email that is uh, that you are signed in with. Uh, so that's pretty simple for products. If uh, you want to import them back at one point, uh, you can just do import. Uh, it needs to be, of course, a CSV file in the right template. Make sure you, uh, you, you, you browse, you select your file, and uh, you do upload. So you can just select, select your file, it has to be a CSV. You're gonna open it and upload uh, the file. What you can do here is uh, select to overwrite existing products that have the same handle, uh, meaning if, uh, if in, in, in your file you have 20% uh, of your products that have the same handle as what you have already in the store, those uh, will be overwritten if and only if you select to uh, overwrite them. If not, it will just uh, skip over. So this is for products. Um, collection, we said you need to do it manually. Uh, another one that you need to do manually are uh, it's your menu, your navigation. So all of this uh, menus and navigation, you cannot just export them or copy them somewhere. You will have to manually redo all of them. And um, you can you can export your orders. You just do export, export all orders, CSV or, or Excel. You can, um, you can export your customers and import your customers. With Shopify directly, you cannot import orders back, uh, but you can definitely export and import customers. It's the same, it's the same as idea, just select all customers, CSV and Excel for Excel and you will have your list of customers. Then um, you get to your pages. For pages and blog posts, what you can do is um, to open them up and switch to HTML. And then uh, you do a select all copy and you will uh, you will paste this in, in into word or just to a text a text file text software that you have sorry um, and you can paste it over there save it uh, accordingly give it the same name as you have as a page uh, you can store this for backup or again to um, to transfer it to another store so you can do this for pages and you can do the same for for the blog uh, posts. Um, another thing, if you want it for backup, you can always uh, create the same pages back again with, with maybe a backup on them. Uh, but if, if you have a few of them, it will be too, uh, too rough maybe to manage after that. So easier for you it will for, for pages and blog posts, just copy the, uh, the HTML from each post and paste it somewhere where you can uh, have access to it and reuse it after that. Um, then 
what we are left with for backup purposes is your theme. For your theme, the easiest thing um, in order to backup will be to just create a new, well, not create a new, but just copy or duplicate the current theme you're, you're using. So this one, the big one right here, this is the current theme you're using, and below that, you may have multiple uh, multiple teams below it. As you see, I have here a copy. So what I can do is click on the three dots here. You have the option to duplicate. Depending on how um, how big or how uh, yeah how big in size your your, your theme is, uh, the, the the more it will take for it to to do a duplicate. So you have to give it some some times for that. After that, obviously you can you can rename it. So you can click here on the three dots, rename. Let's go to this one. You can rename. No need for copy of. You can just do um, backup two thousand sixteen zero five eighteen. So make sure you do keep track and you have uh, you have a format for you to know when the backup was uh, was done. So like this, I can uh, I can easily know that this backup was done today, but in in the future I will know when uh, when it was done and when to go back to it if I do want to go back to this one. Easy way to go back, you can just publish publish this one. Um, then what we can do is you can also you can also download the theme file so it will be sent to your to your email and then when you do want to 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 restore it uh, you can just upload the theme it has to be a zip file not more than 20 megabytes you select it you select your file and then um, you do upload there's another way for you uh, in case you want to make changes to um, core files of your uh, of your theme. If you go inside here, edit HTML CSS, you will have your your layout over here. And if you click on any of them, on most of them that end with liquid you will have here the option to go back to previous versions of it. So Shopify is going to store some versions of uh, this file right here. So if I click on that, it will give me an option for last time I changed it was April 10th. But if I go to maybe collection that maybe I did more changes to it. No. Product. Mm, it's all current. Well, you you get the idea. Inside here, you will be able to to go back to an older version, but be careful that some of them, some of the files like uh, like the, the the style, the CSS, you won't be able to um, to go back on that. So there's no option for you to restore your uh, your CSS, your style. The best thing for that, same thing with, with, with JavaScript. Um, so everything you have, most of it that you have in your assets. So being uh, scripts, being uh, style, CSS.js, that's for the scripts. Those you need to manually back them up. Um, simple way to do it. Let's let's assume this is uh, let's say this is my my style, my style file. What I'm gonna do is select all, then copy. You click here to add a new asset. Um, create a blank file, and what I wanna do is call it the same thing, timber, and add a BK or backup or whatever you want to put but that's how I do it to keep the names shorter and then I'm just gonna paste it here 
you can even give it a uh, put a date here if you want just to be uh, to be to be even more certain on when the backup was done and um, we have a small issue because this should it should end with liquid also um, so let's save and rename it So make sure everything has a has a liquid to uh, to the end of it. Uh, gives a little bit of errors. Let's see if I reopen it. Okay. Uh, yeah. If I reopen it, everything looks okay. So that's it. That's how uh, I will back up my my style sheet. If you know you're gonna do changes to those, uh, make sure you back it up or in here or um, directly by making a duplicate of your uh, team. So that's it for, uh, for backing up your store, your, your products, customers, um, and, and the files directly on, on, on your team and, uh, and the website. So if you have any questions, as usual, please ask them in, in the comments. You also have my information uh, below the in, in the description you have my email you have my Skype you have uh, LinkedIn Twitter everything it's there you can always get in touch with me as usual please don't forget to subscribe I'm releasing videos like this each week so like that you will be sure to not miss anything thank you have a great day